I love that modern ceiling fans have LED lights built in, but what happens when they stop working? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to diagnose and fix the problem. Um, this particular fan is a Harbor Breeze Maison fan, um, which I, I like for small rooms, but it's notorious uh, for the lights going out. So while this uh, demo is going to be uh, for this fan, the principles you should be able to uh, apply to any ceiling fan. So let's remove this by giving it a quarter turn and it just comes straight out like that. And uh, this thing in the middle is the LED light engine. That's what they're known as. And uh, we're going to replace that part. Um, so we're going to take a look on Amazon. But the important thing to note here is that it does say uh, maximum 18 watts. So that is uh, important to know. To remove this fitting, you just take a screw out here, loosen the two other screws that are there and there, and then give it a turn. It will come straight out like that. And then we'll disconnect these two wires. So having taken this down, I wanted to just double check some important information. Again, it says 18 watts here. It doesn't uh, actually say what voltage. Um, so I'm going to double check that in a second. But the other piece of important information here um, is the color temperature, which is CCT color temperature, 3000K, um, which is a kind of warm white. Um, and it says CRI 90, which is kind of the quality of the light, the higher number, the better. So I just wanted to check that so I can buy something um, hopefully uh, comparable. Having disconnected the LED light, I attach my multimeter just to double check that this is uh, 110 volts um, AC for the light, um, which it is essentially 119, but that's normal. Uh, 110 to 120 is about normal. So I just wanted to verify it is definitely a AC light kit. There's one other thing we want to do before we uh, buy a replacement, and that is to measure the diameter, um, the maximum width that you can actually um, fit in here. This existing one is four and a half inches. You could, up, could get up to about five inches, um, but you can't really get the full width of this um, container because uh, uh, of the screws that you still need to be able to access. So about four and a half or five inches is really the max that we can get in this case. It's definitely worth checking if the manufacturer of your fan does sell light kits, uh, replacement ones that is. Um, Harbor Breeze does not sell one for the Maison. So uh, what you need to do in that case is go to Amazon and search on LED light engine retrofit. That is what you're looking for. Um, and you can see these things that look somewhat similar to what we took out. Um, but we, we know that it can't be more than 18 watts, so that one's at 23, that's no good. Uh, and it can't be more than 5 inches in diameter, and so this one's no good, this is 6.7, that's way too big. So I won't go through these one by one, there's way too many. But this is the one I ended up buying. Um, it's 3 inches, so it's definitely going to fit. It's 10 watts, so it's well under the 18 watt limit. Um, and it is dimmable. Uh, that's important because this fan, the Maison, uh, can be dimmed. Some LED units can't be dimmed, and then they will flicker uh, if you try and do that. Finally, um, it's 90 uh, CRI, which is uh, the quality of the light. 90 is pretty good. Um, 80 uh, is fairly common and, and much worse, so definitely try and get one that's 90 or higher. And then lastly, the color temperature um, is 4000K, uh, uh, which is a cooler white than the light that uh, we're actually replacing. Well, thanks to Amazon Next Day Delivery, this arrived, so let's open it up and check it out. Well, this is uh, what we have here. And uh, note that it is indeed three and a half inches um, wide or uh, diameter. Uh, but do be careful when you're shopping on Amazon, because sometimes um, they're describing the size of the LED part uh, and not the overall size of the whole piece. So just always pays to read the description. Um, carefully and uh, yeah just to confirm you can see it is 120 volts um, and it is 10 watts of power so we're good to install this let's remove the old one I'm just going to undo these three screws and remove the old uh, led kit i've removed the old led kit now i'm going to pop the new one in i'm going to feed the wires through the big hole in the center and then uh, attach it well, of course, the holes are all in the wrong place and don't match up. So for the moment, I've just secured it with one screw 
I'm going to wire it up and prove to you that uh, this works. One thing to point out is that the new light kit I ordered came with a, a ground wire. Um, the old one did not, and the reason it didn't was because it's got an a unfinished metal back. And when it's screwed into the metal body of the fan, that's grounding it, because the whole body of the fan being metal is grounded. This light kit is painted, so uh, it's not going to have um, the conductivity, and that's why there's a separate grounding wire. So um, in order to ground this to something, um, I am going to uh, strip it back and just wind it around and screw in one of the uh, screws so that it is touching the metal body of the fan. So I've taken the ground wire, uh, wound it around a screw and screwed it back into the uh, this piece of the fan. So when this uh, metal uh, piece is screwed back onto the main body of the fan, then the ground will be connected. So now all we have to do is connect up the wires. And as you can see, um, the previous light kit did come with these two plastic connectors. I don't have those. Um, the, and, you know, they didn't come with any connector on them. I'm just going to use uh, some wire nuts and uh, connect it up uh, that way. In case you're wondering, um, white is always neutral. So white to white and then black, uh, which is live, goes to blue in this case. To be honest, it's AC, so it shouldn't really matter either way, but white always goes to white. I'm just going to uh, cut away these connectors and uh, replace with wire nuts. So using two wire nuts, I've um, connected the two white wires together and then the black and the blue together. Well, that's the uh, light kit back in. Let's uh, turn the power back on at the breaker, see if it works. Well, I've turned the power back on and you can absolutely see that it, it works and it is a much whiter light, uh, this particular one, because it's 4000K uh, instead of the 3000 that I took out. Well, that's it with the cover back on. One more thing I want to try and that's the dimmer function. So I'm going to press the dim button on the remote control and uh, just wait for that to dim and it's working nicely and smooth. Um, and the reason it's doing that smoothly is because we did make sure to buy one that said it was dimmable. Well, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you feel confident that you can resuscitate your old uh, ceiling uh, LED light. Um, and uh, if you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing uh, to see other home improvement DIY and smart home videos. Um, or if not, just give me a like. That would be much appreciated. Thanks again.